Dr. William H. Bates was a successful eye surgeon. In 1885 William H. Bates graduated with a medical degree from the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Columbia University in New York. Dr. Bates became a successful and well-respected eye surgeon in New York, where he was an instructor of ophthalmology at the New York Postgraduate Medical School and Hospital from 1886 to 1891. Dr. Bates became increasingly dissatisfied with conventional ophthalmological practice, and he consequently began his own research into eyesight disorders. He had observed patients with a refractive error, for example, short or long sight, that seemed to spontaneously change for the better, sometimes to the point of a complete reversal of symptoms. For years Dr. Bates felt there was something wrong about the procedure of prescribing glasses to patients who came to him about their eyes. Why, he asked, if glasses are correct, must they continually be strengthened because the eyes under their influence have weakened? Logically, if a medicine is good, the dose should be weakened as the patient grows stronger. Dr. Bates gave up his lucrative practice and went into the laboratory at Columbia University to study eyes as they had never been studied before. Disregarding all he had learned in textbooks, he experimented on eyes with an open mind. He ran experiments on animals and examined thousands of pairs of eyes. He never restricted himself to the usual eye examination room, but carried his retinoscope with him, inspecting the refractive state of eyes of both people and animals in many different situations. He published an account of a little girl who developed temporary myopia when she lied to him. That fact seemed very significant to him as it was consistent with other findings of myopia that people tend to become myopic when they feel apprehensive. Dr. Bates found that the eyes never constantly the same, that refractive error changed momentarily, that mental strain and tension increased it and relaxation decreased it. His conclusions were that imperfect sight was not possible without first the mental strain, that eyes are tough to what happens from the exterior, that they could mend rapidly from scratches, bumps and even burns, who could be blinded by mental strain. Dr. Bates went on to formulate a new set of theories about eyesight and he developed what later became known as the Bates method to help people to improve their sight. According to Dr. Bates, poor eyesight is caused primarily by three things, one, stress or mental strain, two, poor vision habits, and three, wearing glasses. This Dr. Bates method applies to almost all visual problems, including nearsightedness, myopia, lazy eye, and pleopia, cross eye, strabismus, macular degeneration, eye strain, dyslexia, astigmatism, hyperopia, farsightedness, presbyopia, old age sight, cataract, glaucoma, tension, headache, light sensitivity, poor night vision, and more. If you would like to learn more about the Dr. Bates method and learn how you too can perfect your eyesight, then make sure that you visit our site that's in the description of this video. I appreciate you watching this video and hope that you have learned some valuable facts about Dr. William H. Bates. If you feel that this video was informal, please make sure to rate it thumbs up.